what up virgo welcome back to my channel we're just gonna be doing a whatever comes out energy reading okay it's a full moon so we're just gonna be pulling energy and seeing how it how it applies all right we have inevitable empath at the bottom. You can be very empathic, picking up on other people's emotions, Virgo. It could be something about extreme emotions. Before I was doing this reader reading, I got the Joker energy. Okay, um, someone who is in extreme emotions, but they're still funny, happy. Okay, they're still in this fun type of almost goofy joking energy so virgo people could be reading the signals wrong because you are calm but i feel like in the inside <laughs> in the inside virgo you're a spiritual warrior okay you don't play these games you're not playing games with someone or something okay so i feel like it's the energy you may be you may be a little I don't know, Virgo. You may be a little testy, is, is the energy I'm getting. Testy, emotional. Your emotional energy could look calm, but inside, like, inside you may have extreme emotions. What's going on for Virgo? Something's inevitable. It was going to happen either way. I also heard history repeats itself and that's just how it goes. I feel like you're about to um, pick up on a pattern, pick up on history repeating itself. There's something here about an infinite loop. We have saved a life, Virgo. Okay. Um, shout out to Deck Haven for sending me a couple decks. I will put a link or their shop name down below where you can find these tarot cards. All right, what's the save your life energy? You save a life. Um, somebody could be a lifeguard. It could be something about water, Virgo. I heard a lifesaver. This could be. Metaphorical. Or this could actually save somebody's life. Because I did pick up on danger energy in my notes here. Um, what's this energy would save a life for Virgo? These cards are slick. What's the energy for save a life for Virgo? Okay, we got delusional false reliefs about a relationship. Okay. Delusional. It's giving, um, what's that guy's name? Kiss. Okay. Kiss energy. The one guy with the guitar and the long tongue. And then at the bottom it says, chance for new love is on the horizon. Save a life. Virgo, you could be dealing with somebody who's just crazy. Okay, this person could feel like there is a chance that they're, that you could save their life. That you can, um, I don't know, that being with them can save them, can change them. This person is delusional. I feel like they feel you're supposed to be attached to them. Or this could be you, Virgo. Take it as it resonates. But there's that why so serious energy, that joker face energy, that person who's full of emotions, but... Um, still goofy and smiling and doing crazy stuff somebody has extreme emotions but they're still serious like i don't know somebody i feel like someone's cracking mentally someone's mentally cracking virgo their eyes could be significant their teeth could be significant justice this could be a libra i feel like this person here is in the energy hang one i feel like they're in the energy of um the table is turning in some type of way with the justice card. This is somebody's justice to need someone to save their life, to need you to save their life, Virgo. There was something here that this person is realizing. I just heard, took so long. Planet, baby, took so long. I don't know what song that is, but I feel like something took a long time for someone to 
get justice. It took a long time for something to be made fair. It took a long time for someone to see clearly. I feel like they were delusional, but someone is starting to see clearly with the justice card in the hand. When I feel this could be a Libra energy, someone could have Libra in their chart, Pisces energy in their chart, Virgo. But whoever this is, is now in the energy. They This person could be realizing they're in a relationship with someone crazy. They may have married this person. The Three of Wands. The Queen of Coins. They may have married someone. You may have married someone. Priestess. Okay. Okay. So the chain the story is changing once again. Virgo, this this could have been somebody who could have saved your life. All right. Instead, this person was delusional about the relationship. They saw it delusional in some type of way. They wanted to be vindictive and crazy. I feel like this person with the justice card, the three of wands, the star card, and the nine of wands and the four of cups energy. This is someone who could have did the right thing, been fair, and saved you in some type of way, been fair and um, helped you out of some type of situation. They could have given to you with the Three of Wands. I feel like they could have um, did something, but they made you wait. They made you wait to heal. They made you wait for something like a prize, like a consolation prize. Like, like this person was holding something over your head, not a wands, and they were never going to give it to you with the Four of Cups. Whoever this is, was never going to give you something to save you and they could have saved you the whole time and this is a person who's delusional about this relationship i feel like they're intuitively very burdened about what they have done to you with the queen of cups energy because i feel virgo you are somebody who's very compassionate very loving you could be the mother mother of their children you could be their mother a mother in some type of way you're just someone who is very honest and intuitive virgo but whoever you are you didn't deserve this and with this energy you were someone who was uh, a good person in a bad place. Maybe this person puts you in a bad place. And with the Justice card, they could have extended some type of help to do something. But I feel like with the Four of Cups, they didn't. And with the Nine of Wands, they let you suffer. Somebody had the thing that could heal you. Eight of Swords. They wanted to trap you. They wanted to restrict you. They purposely did this on purpose, Virgo. I feel like this person wanted you to feel like... A victim. They want you to feel victimized because of something in the past. Okay, this person hasn't gotten over something in the past here. A Ten of Swords energy where they feel like you betrayed them. So they've been playing out this whole energy. They've been playing out this whole time a way of betraying you, Temperance. That's the purpose of them doing this. The purpose of this person, Fool Card. The purpose of this person, um, not giving you anything, holding back, um, not saving your life when they have everything that you need. Virgo to save your life like this is just a scenario okay this could be any um this could be any category this could be anything okay someone could have taken your insulin and walked away with their insulin and instead of coming tonight they're gonna come tomorrow that's the energy I'm getting someone knows you need something to save your life or to help you or to save someone's life or to help them but instead of giving you or that person this thing they are holding back because they want to get you back for what you did in the past to them they're still delusional over some type of relationship here Virgo the delusional over the relationship that you have with them this this person thinks, I don't know, I don't know what they think this relation is, relationship they have is with you, but they feel like it's justified that they are doing something to you, that they're not going to help you, that they're going to let you suffer. They feel like it's justified that they stay cold and disconnected, Virgo, Tower, and the Ace of Wands. Wow. This person is wanting to, I feel, hmm. I feel like this person is wanting to watch you suffer. I'm not going to lie. This person is wanting to cause towers. Like, I feel like they're very passionate about this. This is someone who... This could have... You could have um broke up with them, okay? Okay. 
Yeah, there was some type of tower that happened when you two were dating here when they were coming towards you. But now I feel like this person is delusional because this is someone, Virgo, who um, left you out in the cold, left you for dead, left you, your family for dead, left the family for... They did something crazy where they could have easily saved your life. They could have easily taken some burden off of you. They could have easily gave you some, given you something, but instead they made you suffer. Instead they made you sick. Instead they made you go through unnecessary adversities when you or your family deserved fairness. You deserved fairness. You deserved love. With the justice card, you deserved um, a reward. And instead, this person made you wait. They made you suffer. And now this person all of a sudden wants to come towards you in a romantic way. They're delusional about the relationship between you because this is someone who left you for dead, but some way in their mind, they think that you two are going to get back into a relationship together. Yeah, they're having sudden realizations and they're having epiphanies, Virgo, about everything that they did to you, how they left you out in the cold, how they didn't take care of their responsibilities, how someone was doing injustice to someone who didn't deserve it. And now they want to circle back around, Virgo. They want to come towards you all of a sudden, chariot, the four of coins, but they're holding back, even though that they're getting these messages, even though that they're getting these realizations. And this is what's causing them to be delusional. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This is what is causing them to have extreme emotions, but still be in this goofy, why so serious energy. Whoever this is, the higher pit, the King of Cups, and the Nine of Coins. Um, somebody could be getting spiritual messages. Um, telling this person to come towards you or spiritual messages to this person about you. There's something about like telepathic, yeah, eight of wands, telepathic communication, some type of communication that is happening via way ancestors in some type of way. This person was supposed to walk away, successfully walk away from something, but I feel like they are satisfied in some type of relationship they are in. They're contemplating the judgment about something else, but this person is burdened by the deception and the things that they are seeing. I feel like the actions that they had taken is now manifesting conflict into their lives. Okay, so, okay, that's, that's enough. Um, so that's the energy. Somebody is uh, a little delusional now. I feel like the same person who may have tried to break you down has some type of false belief that now you two can get together. Let's see. If this person is delusional, what is the truth about this relationship? If this person is delusional, what is the truth about this relationship? Someone's teeth could be significant. Someone could look very pale, have stringy hair. Their hair. There's something significant about their hair and their eyes, dark circles, veins, Virgo. What's the truth about this relationship? It says refusing to accept the reality of the connection. Okay, we got that clearly. Someone here, Virgo, they're delusional because they didn't accept the reality of the relationship. They didn't want to see you as someone that they were supposed to be with or love. They didn't want to see you as someone they were supposed to treat fairly. They wanted to live in the illusion that you were someone who uh, deserved to be treated like trash. So they didn't feel bad about it, basically. Yeah, we have emotional or physical abuse. That's the truth about this relationship. And we have just having fun and no commitment. We also have another one that says time to be honest about the way you feel. Now this person, after abusing you, now this person, after abusing you, wants to be honest about how they feel and um, attached to unhealthy behaviors or substance, break, time apart will be beneficial to this connection, becoming clear about your vision for the future. Someone needs to be disconnected from you so then they can get out of this delusional energy that you two are going to be together after they caused you to suffer in some type of way. Yeah, missing you. They're just missing and longing for you. And this person is delusional at this point, Virgo. I feel that after abusing you, treating you like trash, um, running you through the mud, disobeying God, going against God, their spirituality, everything... Um, just to torture you, just to hurt you. 
now someone for some reason is having emotions for you is longing for you and wants to be around you i'm very confused about this energy i feel like this person is mentally ill virgo this could be a warning to stay away from this person to save your own life all right if they are physically or mentally abusive i do feel like it's only going to escalate someone who is physically and mentally abusive isn't going to change in a short period of time it took years to learn that behavior, Virgo, and it would take years and therapy to unlearn that. And if someone has been, has never changed, Virgo, okay, don't go back, don't entertain, none of that, all right? So this is what I got here for you, Virgo. That was the message that came out today. If you resonated with anything here, please stay safe and give me a like, comment down below. Subscribe to the channel to see what's coming up next to Virgos. And y'all already know, I'm very grateful and thankful for everybody watching. Peace.